Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. Today we're going to be making a plasma welder. Why are we making a plasma welder, you may ask? I don't know. Oh, for added fun, we're going to do it in a uh, way where we're not allowed to use a diamond, all right? We're making a roll, uh, a realistic quote unquote plasma, uh, plasma welder. It's going to legitimately uh, have to survive without exploding. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, so let's start out by just. Uh, I'm just gonna put this here, and for plasma, all we have to do really is get our hydrogen boy. There's our hydrogen boy. There's our hydrogen boy. And then we gotta just kind of carry it through. Why does it split in half? Well, why don't you split in half? It's a good question. <laughs> it's a good question. Give, give me the reason. There. Oh wow. Okay. Great. So we have this fan fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant application here of uh, the hydrogen in a specific direction. Absolutely great. Move my face cam. I'm not moving. I'll just move this. There we go. You happy now, huh? 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 Actually, I'll, I'll put it down here. That's probably the best spot to put it. There we go. And then if we set it on fire, we get a... Uh, oh! 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 Oh, okay, that's actually more stable than I thought it would be. I thought it would just run back and just blow the entire thing up. Nice. We've made a flamethrower, and it's actually not backfeeding and dying. That's rare. This is this is insane. I've I've managed to do so. It's actually working. Huh. Wow, all right, very nice. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll get some clone. Cause we gotta get the heat up, right? You can't just have it be warm, you need it to be hot. So let's go ahead and spikeify it because I'm a professional at being hot. <laughs> Good one, Spike. And uh, just inject some oxygen into the, okay. That made it a little bit too excited. A little bit too excited there. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and figure out a way to prevent the fire from exploding backwards. And I have a way, kids. I have a way. It's called thinking with portals. Because portals are your best way to make a in and out uh, valve in this game. Portal in. Portal out. Throw something in between them that looks cool. We'll do like quartz, great. Wee, wow, it's like a filter or something. Nobody cares. <laughs> and boom! Okay, the only issue is we've kind of lost all of that momentum we had with the fan. So we need to get the momentum back up again and we need to get it to aim in a straight direction. All right. Not that there's anything wrong with it not being straight. I'm just I'm just saying for the sake of melting things, we need to actually put it in the correct direction. There we go. All right, brilliant. There's our nozzle, and then we'll go ahead and we will get a big fan. You know what I've learned being in Texas for how long has it been? Like a week now? These amber alerts never stop. Like, every day there's an Amber Alert. Maybe that's just being in a big state, but like, holy guacamole, there are so many of them. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, quickly, quickly just set this all on fire to clean up a little bit. Okay, there we go. That is a, that is a really good looking plasma beam we got there. The only issue is that it's kind of eating away at the titanium and not staying centered. Alright, let's try this uh, a little bit differently. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over here and do this. I'm going to remove all of... Okay, that is not the display I want. That, that's the dramatic slow display. Alright, so here we go. What I want to do is I want... 
a fan in the center like this, right? And this fan is going to accelerate it forwards. Then I'm gonna put a fan on top, which is going to accelerate it downwards. I'm gonna put a fan on the bottom, which accelerates it upwards. So, boom, boom, boom. Why is it, why is it back flowing? What's, come on, there we go, yes! All right, has that actually helped? It does not look like it helped. I think I need to make the top one a little bit stronger. Is this connected to this somehow? What the heck is going on? I, I thought these were pretty well not connected. Um, does it have to be even further away than that? Okay, how about that? Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, that looks good to me. That looks, that looks pretty good. Now all we have to do is balance it. So this top layer needs to come down a little bit more, right? Uh, I, I want, there we go, nothing display. And what we'll do is we will put a string on the end here showing the direction of the wind. So we want to even that out. So if we pull this down a little bit more, you can see it didn't really make much of a difference, but if we pull it down more, re really? Is there nothing I can do? Okay, is it gravity? Oh, shoot, I hate gravity. Gravity is my worst, worst nightmare. There, there we go, oh! Brilliant. Great, so we have a pretty straight plasma beam now. Very nice. Great, so we have our plasma beam now, which by the way is at 2,000 degrees. Um, and let's go ahead and see if it's capable of cutting through metal. Yay, that's what welding is all about, right? Cutting and joining metal. So let's just go ahead and put a metal bar here. And with our welder just, you know, activated and uh, just doing its thing. We'll give it a few seconds to see if it's capable of doing the task that we have set ahead for it. Ooh, would you look at that? Our plasma welder has managed to cut straight through that thick, plate of iron. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Who would have thought? Alright, so it looks like the plasma water is actually pretty, pretty good. It's doing pretty well. You can definitely see the plasma coming out. I'm not just calling it a, a plasma welder. There is actual plasma in there. Now let's go ahead and try with a sheet of titanium, which should be a bit harder. I'm doing a thinner one so that it doesn't take forever. I believe we should be able to get it up to heat. Possibly. Potentially. Maybe not. Maybe we need to hit it a little bit harder. Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps we can melt through titanium. Although I think it's just the heat is moving along the titanium to the edges. So we have to wait for the... Uh, the entire titanium bar to heat up a bit. Also, if we turned off ambient heat, I think this would go, like, pretty damn fast. Yeah, okay, so 1400. The only issue is turning off ambient heat. The actual gun itself may melt, but, eh, that's fine. That's fine, I'll accept the additional responsibility. So we're able to get it up to 1600. Yeah, we may not be able to do titanium. It may just be too much. I mean, eventually it'll go over the temperature because we're just dumping more into... Oh, there we go. We did it. Good job, folks. Good, good job, folks. We did it. I do not believe that tungsten would be able to be cut through by this, uh, this plasma gun we just made, but do we really need to cut through tungsten? 
Who even uses tungsten? Nobody uses tungsten. Ever. Um, how could we give this a little bit of a kick? I mean, we got a lot of hydrogen, which is mixing with a lot of oxygen. I mean, honestly, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of something that could just give it a little bit more heat. But, uh, oh, you know what never hurts? I've got a plan. It's not the best plan, but it is a plan. Like, if the... <laughs> If the gas is already hot when it gets reacted, then we get a little bit more heat. But how do we get the gas to heat up efficiently? What could we use? Well, I've got an idea. What if we use some uranium? Pressurized uranium to heat up the gas before it escapes, huh? This is a brilliant idea and nothing could possibly go wrong. All right, let's see what I can do. 200 degrees, nope, we need more than that. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 degrees, eh, 1,000. That's pretty warm. I think if it were to balance out around here, that would be good. Okay, we're gonna have to vacuum it a little bit. I think I, I, think I went a little bit too far. Oh, there we go. It's kind of stable at 1,500. Stable at 15. Brilliant. Okay, so that should make this... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That that actually... That has actually increased our temperatures quite a bit. Um, having the... Having the uranium helping out. <laughs> Very necessary, may I add. Very nice. Okay, so we need it to be held at that. So let's go ahead and get some pump. We need to be held at 30. Uh, so let's go ahead and heat this up to 30 degrees. 10, 20, 33 ish, I think. Nice. All right. So that'll keep it nice and toasty. Uh, this is really hot. <laughs> we've, we've definitely heated up. So getting the gases nice and toasty for us is actually a really good step. Um, let's go ahead and see how quickly we can burn it through an iron plate now. I mean, before we had to wait a good, what, 30 seconds or so? So, I'm gonna say so this is about 10 seconds here. And then we're going to say that this is about another 10 seconds okay maybe it's not faster i thought it would be a lot faster yeah i i feel like this is faster i feel like it took longer last time maybe it took more than 30 seconds but um i i'm going to say that we we could we could probably pro pro probably do better um most likely but how? We're already preheating. It's like an oven. Or we're preheating our gases before we burn them. But honestly, they're not going to get much hotter than that moment when they get uh, heated. Which makes me wonder, is there any way we can get the actual explosion itself to be hotter? The thing is, the, maybe the concentration of hydrogen needs to be increased. Um, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try increasing the concentration of the hydrogen going in by putting just a little bit at the very end. Because the hydrogen burns hotter than the oxygen. The oxygen helps to keep the flame going uh, because it's very easily lit. And it helps to pad it out, but ah, and I just delete in a circle. There we go. All right. All right, let's see if that helps. I don't know if that'll do much of a difference, but you know, it's always worth trying things. That's science. Let's go ahead and grab an iron bar again and see if we can melt through it. 
more quickly. And I'm hoping that it'll burn through. No, that seems to be going pretty quickly. Or we're actually, we're already getting it to kind of melt a little bit there. No, a little bit, tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. Yeah, that was definitely faster. Okay, all right, that's better. <laughs> we did a better job of going through. Now, I do have a few uh, ideas on how we could make a more effective uh, system for this. Um, I believe if we were to use... I would have to use a different thing. Um, so let's go ahead and copy this and paste it here. I know this one's being slightly occluded by my body, but you don't really need to see what's back here because I'm going to do it first. I'm going to uh, go ahead and swap the back part with Noble Gas, and there's a reason for this. Alright, come on. There we go. Let's get some Noble Gas going through here. I'm going to heat the noble ga Okay, swapping that caused the uranium to go kaplooey. Okay, um, how about we just calm down... Calm down the uranium a bit here, because that's a problem. Alright, good. Uranium is calm, I guess. <laughs> that was weird. It it is, yeah, it's getting way hotter. Geez, probably because there's less gas for it to uh, work with. That's interesting. All right, so now that we have this massive amount of uh, noble gas coming through, inside of the chamber here, I'm actually gonna replace the chamber with ceramic. So we're gonna hit that colon key for replace mode. And I'm going to, uh, just go over this and switch this for ceramic, and there's a reason for that. We're gonna put an electron gun in the middle of this. Because if you don't know, when you use electrons with noble gas, it makes it into a plasma storm of death. <laughs> and a plasma storm of death sounds like it'll be very effective for our goal. Oh, shoot, I forgot to switch back. Right, there we go. There we go. Okay, and then we go ahead and we get our electrons, and yeah! All right, that is my version 2, which is basically pure plasma. So let's go ahead and see the temperatures this is hitting. Uh, I think we need more noble gas, honestly. I'm going to just, uh, I'm gonna put one thing on the both the sides here that are just gonna create more noble gas. I, I think I need a thicker stream. There we go, oh, that looks good. That looks real good. All right, so here is the proper 100% plasma version. And uh, we're going to test them both against a sheet of iron and see which one burns through faster. The more classical design or using full-on noble gas plasma, which one will break through? Uh, I think it's becoming pretty clear at this point that the upper uh, part of the iron beam is getting much hotter than the lower part. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, so the upper, the upper plasma cutter was far more effective. Far more effective. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to retire. I'm going to retire, uh, how do I stamp S? Ah, we're gonna retire this one. Goodbye, friend. You will be missed. And we're going to see how effective this other plasma cutter is.
I mean, I've we've made it a lot better. A, a bit simpler, which is sad. I don't like simplifying things. Um, oh, this is actually could get hotter. Hmm. Okay, so now that we have our simpler design, uh, without any forces that'll mess with it, let's go ahead and just try it against a single bar of iron. I mean, I'm actually a little bit impressed by how long the iron bar is holding out against basically just pure plasma. It, it's certainly impressive, but uh, after a little bit, there's just there's no way for it to survive. You can actually see that when specific bits of plasma hit, it melts and then it hardens again after like a millisecond. Like we get these very temporary damages, but it takes a little bit longer before it gets hot enough that it's able to maintain that. And it's actually kind of funny because the electrons coming out along with it, they'll occasionally hit the iron and cause it to heat up more just through resistance. Very nice. This isn't as clean though. As you can see, there's damage all the way up and down uh, from this plasma. But once it went through, woo, it really went through. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, we made a proper plasma torch. Would you look at that? And we did it in two different ways. Uh, one of which a little bit simpler, but more futuristic, and the other one a little bit more classical. But in the end, they both worked. Now the question is, <laughs> because I'm me, and I'm a weirdo, if I had them both fight each other, <laughs> Who will win? <laughs> Place your bets below. Oh, come on. Come on. Can I- oh. Okay, okay, okay. I, I need to do shift R. Oh, we'll just have them both fight to the death. Just connected to each other. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, well, they're both- they're fighting. They are fighting. They're de <laughs> the, the start was a little bit rough, I won't lie. I, I think- I don't know who's- who's won this. Honestly, it looks like the beam is coming out stronger from this side, but I have- I have no clue. This is like backfeeding horribly. It's all on fire. Everything's on fire. Everything is on fire. <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> Thank you all. It looks like fish attacking each other. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun, and um, I, I have to get back to programming Valor. Super exciting. Um, more is coming in the future. Videos are going to get more exciting. I'm going to be doing a few different games. Just give me some time, uh, but I promise a lot is coming. A lot is coming. Peace. Thanks for watching. Wow, it's my end credits gang. How are you all doing? If, if you're a part of end credits gang, comment below, like the video, and subscribe because you guys are my, my favorites. Don't tell the rest of them, but end credits gang is best gang. It's even better if you watch all the videos, including the non-powder toy ones. Then you're like, the ultimate gang. Any ultimate gang in here? Any absolute legends? Let me know. Peace.